We are a chosen generation Called for to show his excellence All I require for life God has given me And I know who I am We are a chosen generation, we are a chosen generation. Call for to show his excellence All I require for life God has given me And I know who I am I know God to say I am What he said I am Where he said I'm at I know who I am I know who God said I am What he says I am Where he says I'm at for in the way. Walking in power, walking in miracles, the life of favor, cause I know who I am. Walking in power, walking in miracles, life of favor, for I know who I am. Amen, amen. Amen, what an exciting song. I know who I am. God has made me who I am today, and He wants to do the same for you. Yes, I know who I am. Just like God said to Moses, when they ask you who sent me, say, I am that I am. Amen. A very special welcome to you to the Quarantine Chapel Sunday service. I'm really so excited about this new year and the opportunity that God has given us to preach and share the message of hope today. Again, I want to thank you for all your support and looking forward to greater support throughout this year. I'd like to share with you our scripture reading. It's a few verses that I'd like to read from the book of uh, Romans, Romans chapter 12, uh, I want to read from verse 1, it says, I beseech you therefore brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present yourself a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is uh, your reasonable service. And he says, and be ye not conform uh, to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come into your presence, Lord. And we ask that you may just open up our eyes, open up our minds, that we may see all that you want to do for us in this new year 2022. Open up our understanding, dear God, that we may that, that we may experience you in your fullness, that we might be able to be filled with your might and your power and your love and your grace. Lord, we know that this year you have promised that you can do exceedingly abundantly above all which we ever ask or think. And if there is a time where we need your abundance, mercy, and grace, it is today. So we pray the Lord that you may just bring us into your fold. Gather us under your wings uh, and work uh, your power of transformation within uh, our hearts and within our lives. Uh, this we pray in Jesus' name. Uh, amen. And amen. Uh, and amen. Uh, and amen. You know, it's a joy for me to come uh, to you today in the name of our Lord. And it's a joy for me to share with you this important message for this year, 2022. Transformational change. Transformational change requires the transformational power of God. 
Do you hear me today? Yeah. I want to talk to you about the uh, transformational change. And for us to uh, experience transformational change, uh, we need uh, the transformational power of God. I'm not talking about superficial change because there's a lot of superficial changes uh, that a lot of people would be experiencing uh, because they may have a desire to do something uh, and someone may suggest, why don't you do this? Uh, and with that desire, they may want to say, okay, uh, I, I want to change my lifestyle. Uh, I want to change my, my diet. Uh, I want to change my habit. And in doing so, they undertake some changes but in a few weeks and a few months, all those changes go out of the window. They fall back on their own lives. And that's what I call a superficial change or artificial change. But the change that I'm talking about today, it's, it's transformational change. And it comes directly from God's word as the Apostle Paul was sharing this message of transformation. You see, we have a transformational God. In every sense of the word, the God we serve is transformation from the very core of his existence. He took the darkness, when, when, when darkness, I mean, filled the deep and transformed it into light. He took this world and transformed it. He said, let there be light and there was light. Let there be living creatures and and of course it happened, a transformational God. And if God can, can do that for a world, how much more he can do for us today? Yeah, he's a transformational God because he took the dirt uh, and uh, with it, uh, he formed man. Uh, and then from man, he formed woman. Uh, he took the dirt uh, and transformed it uh, into mankind and that's the kind of God we're talking about the transformational God but he says if uh, we want to experience this transformational change that comes only from him he says uh, that we need to present ourselves that's right we need to bring ourselves before his throne of throne of grace we need to lay ourselves down as a living sacrifice hallelujah Hallelujah. I am glad that, uh, that the Bible um, put the responsibility on us to come to God, even though God wants to come to us. God is always willing to come to us. His, his heart and hands are open and he always stretches himself out to us. But he requires, if we want to experience a transformational change, we must come to him uh, as a, a living sacrifice. Uh, you see, when you come as a sacrifice, you've laid down yourself at the altar. You've presented yourself uh, in a helpless manner. You're giving your entire being to God and say, God, take over presenting yourself. Uh, God can't do much with us uh, if we're not presented uh, I mean ourselves at the altar because it's at the altar the work of God takes place do you hear me today? At the altar is the conversion experience it's at the altar where we cry and connect with God it's at the altar where, where miracles happen it's at the altar where transformational change will take pay, place so he says present yourself as a living sacrifice. Present your, yourself in prayer. Present yourself before God. I mean, taking the, the, yourself aside, away from everything else, and go into your closet and presenting yourself before God, the Lord who I am. As the songwriter says, just as I am without one plea. Just as I am presenting ourselves to all Almighty God. I pray today that for us to experience this transformational change uh, that we will begin uh, to present. Uh, not only do we need to present ourselves uh, uh, for to experience this transformational change, uh, but the Bible says, uh, and do not be conformed to this world. Uh, hallelujah. 
God does not want us to conform to this world. In fact, he does not want us to be in the mold of this world where this world is going to shape us into something that is not of God. You know, we are influenced by so many things in our world today. You know, and it reminds me of the story that I've heard. Yes, it's a fish story. Not about a fish that I caught, but listen to the life of a fish. The fish live in the ocean that is salted because we it's salted water. And all of its life, it live in the ocean. But then when you go fishing uh, and you cast your rod uh, and you catch a fish and reel it in, uh, then that fish is as fresh as ever before. There is not one taste of salt in the flesh of that fish. You see, because God made the fish in such a way that through the gills of the fish, it filters all of the salt uh, and that salt does not enter into the body of the fish, whereby preserving it uh, to be as fresh as could be when we bring it out uh, of the ocean. Just as God uh, put gills in the fish uh, to help it to filter the salt uh, from uh, the, the sea. Uh, just so he has put his Holy Spirit uh, within our hearts and within our minds. Uh, so that we can filter, we can filter out the, the filth of the world uh, and be fresh. And powerful in his presence. That's why he says do not be conform. Do not be influenced by the world. Whereby you fit into uh, the, the mold that the world want us to live in. Because there's a songwriter that tells us that we are not of this world. We are just passing through. God does not want to conform to all of the issues that the world may bring to us. But he has given us something new and something different. But he says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And that says it all. The transformation power of God. It lies within, I mean, the renewal of the mind. If we want a change today, if we want something different for this year, we have to bring our mind to God so that God can renew it and filter out all of our fears, filter out all of our worries, filter out all of our concerns, filter out all of the problems that keep us away from the throne of God. Yes, he wants to renew our mind. You know that there is a saying I heard, the mind is a powerful thing to waste. And what, what God wants to do uh, is to enter into our mind because our mind controls uh, our entire being. Uh, if we think it, we can accomplish it. Uh, if we think it, we can see it. Uh, it is within the minds that great architect, uh, you know, um, come up with these great designs. Uh, it is within the mind that the artists may come uh, with, with some of the most uh, profound art. Uh, it is within in the mind that the devil would want to get in. That's why the Bible says, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Be ye transformed. The transformational power of God brings about what we call about permanent change. And when I say transformation, I'm talking about a total different change inside out. It reminds me when I was in elementary school, uh, how we went through this experiment uh, to see the transformational change uh, of a caterpillar. We were all, as kids, we were instructed to go uh, and, and find a caterpillar and, and keep it uh, in an enclosed area and feed it there. Uh. And week after week, we will take uh, that, that, that caterpillar uh, and, and feed it uh, with leaves. Uh, and, and, and it will begin to eat and eat and eat. In fact, they said that a caterpillar eats uh, a hundred times its weight. 
And then our teacher will tell us just wait. Uh, we will see the transformational change. Uh, and one day we get up and, and try to look uh, I mean to find the caterpillar and found uh, that it, it was no more caterpillar but it was what the most beautiful butterfly that we were able to release. And that's what God wants to do for us. That's the kind of change that he wants us to experience for 2022. It's a transformational change. Changing our entire mind. Changing our entire thoughts. Changing the way we think. Changing what we believe. It's amazing how people can believe things that has never been proven. It's amazing how people can believe things because uh, they read it, you know, they, they've, they've seen it on the internet. Uh, it's amazing how people can believe things because someone say this to them uh, with, with no proof uh, that what it really is. But God has proven himself throughout the ages. You don't have to worry. Uh, I mean, he's been around for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. In fact, from the very existence of mankind, God has been there because he is a creator. And because he is a creator, he knows who we are. And he wants us uh, to go through this transformational process, not a, an artificial process. Religion provides artificial change. Do you hear me today? But faith in God provides permanent transformational change. And that's the change that the Lord wants us to experience. The transformational change, how the butterfly it was once a caterpillar, but now it's been transformed. God wants to transform us from being a sinner to a saint. He wants to transform us from being a nobody to somebody. Do you hear me today? He wants us to experience an identity that we have never had. An identity in faith. An identity in God. God wants us to, to release. He wants to release all of the skills and gifts uh, and ability that he's given us for his honor and for his glory. Uh, when we go through a transformational change, uh, then uh, we can hone into the gifts uh, and the skills and the ability that God has already embedded in us. Uh, and it will just flow out of us uh, in such a dynamic way that it will change and transform other people's heart and life. Uh, you see, a transformational change brings about a level of inspiration and leadership skills that we never thought we had before. And that's the kind of transformational power that God wants us to experience. Transformational change through Almighty God raises us to a higher level of morality, to a higher level of motivation. That's what transformational change does for us. It helps us to see the future more clearly because we are not looking through our eyes, but we're looking through the eyes of Almighty God. Hallelujah. You see, transformational change that God's bringing in our lives stirs our emotion beyond self-interest. Hallelujah. I love that. It stirs our emotion beyond self-interest. Hallelujah. That we may be able to know the will of God. That's what he says. He says, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. If you want to prove, uh, you know, what God's will for your life, you have to go through that transformational change. Uh, if you want to know God's leadership and guidance for your life, you have to go through that transformational change. Uh, it can't be uh, the, the, the way it was before. It's got to be something new uh, and something different. Uh, and I'm saying to you today, uh, allow God to bring that change uh, in your heart and in your lives. Uh, that 
that he can manifest himself through you. Uh, that people might see uh, the glory of God shining forth in your life day by day. Uh, that you would be filled with joy and filled with excitement. Uh, you would be no longer a weak person walking around, moping around. But your head would be held up high. Your chest out. Uh, you would speak with confidence, uh, with power and influence because you have experienced the transformational change. And people would see it. People will know it. Uh, people would be wondering uh, what kind of new coffee that you are on. Uh, but no, you would say, uh, no, I'm not on new coffee. I, I'm, I'm on what we call a prefine. That's right. Not on caffeine, but I'm on prefine because I prayed through. I prayed through the night. I prayed through my, my sins. I prayed through all that is wrong with me. And the Lord has come and he has changed and transformed my life. He transformed the life of the woman at the well uh, where she ran back to her village uh, and said, come see a man uh, who have told me everything about my life. Uh, he transformed the life of Nicodemus who came to him by night. Uh, and I'm saying today, uh, if you want a change, uh, a permanent change, uh, a change uh, that uh, people will know you to be different, uh, I want to present to you the transformational power of God that help you to know who you are. You don't know who you are until uh, God has revealed himself to you. Do you hear me today? You don't know who you are until the power of God has come. Would you come today and let God change your life? I want to pray for a transformational change in your life today. Father, I bring to you all those who may hear this message today. And through the power of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, their Lord. As they accept their Lord, the power that comes only from you. I pray that you may change and transform their lives from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. I pray that you may change them inside out. That they may experience your power and your glory. That the world may see that something new and something different has happened. I pray, dear Lord, that they would experience you in a way this year that they've never experienced you before. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. If you've been blessed by this broadcast, I want to encourage you to share. And if you have not subscribed, I want to encourage you to subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel uh, that you can have all of uh, the messages that I preach. Uh, so may God bless you and may you have a transformational day and a transformational life in Jesus name. Amen.